Okay, and we are back for part two of chapter three. There's going to be a bit of a recap as we rewatch this turn to play out. Uh, this was the same turn in which uh, Hector broke down the wall in the previous video. Um, but once once he does that, uh, we'll be back to um, some fresh new content. This is uh, being recorded on the same night as I recorded the previous night, or the previous part. So. Uh, if this is released on the same day, then now you'll know why. Um, this recording had some audio issues. Um, I more or less ironed them out um, by just muting the parts where this um, loud microphone uh, microphone noise was audible. Um, it happened during the uh, recording of the gameplay. Uh, no clue what would have caused that, but. Uh, Probably has been has been fixed for uh, future playthroughs. Fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, we're just about to have Hector um, break down the wall, um, and then we're going to just go ahead and try to uh, try to speedrun this uh, the rest of this chapter and not get everyone killed and uh, fail miserably. Maybe. You'll see it. So... You'll see coming up that I do make one minor mistake, which is um, when I try and move everyone to the right, um, I don't move loot as far as I possibly could have, because um, Hector could use Smite on her to move her another two tiles, but I don't do that. And um, that means that I uh, am not able to um, capture the throne for another turn. Thankfully, no one dies as a result of this, but um, yeah, that is something I need to keep in mind more. And for the live stream, you guys in chat should remind me that uh, Hector has Smite, and that's good. Because <laughs> it is a. Uh, it's such a weird ability, but it's so useful. So I need to, yeah, I need to use it. So yeah, we're just finishing up, uh, moving some units around. We're gonna be um, getting rid of their items because uh, you know they're saying their last goodbyes to each other. They're you can take your bets on um, on who's going to survive and who will die in this turn. Or the next turn, or the turn after that. <laughs> and, um... We're just gonna try to get Garcia... ...to survive. He can take another attack, but he's, uh... I mean, he's at full health now, pretty much, but... Any moment now, he's gonna... He's gonna take that crit, or that, um... That impale, I should say. The ability that does, uh, four times damage. So, Mulder, as you can see, he's really good. I think you guys already knew that. Really good level ups as well. Um, his base defense is rather low, but um, his growth is really high, so he's going to be pretty tanky eventually. So here's that mage doing the zero damage. Classic mage. And uh, here's loot just destroying everything. But really... Next turn is where things get interesting, because of this. <laughs> so that's the Impale animation. Uh, yeah, that was always his fate, he says. Um, and this is a fantastic stroke of luck here, actually. Uh, if Marisa had died here, I believe the Gargoyle would have been able to move forward, because he can fly over the terrain. Um, and so he would have killed someone else, and um, the chain reaction on on this turn would have been much worse, because he'd be cutting off uh, Ross and um, and Franz from from the rest of the group. So, yeah, that that was a clutch dodge, and also it's really nice just to have a healer. She could have easily died there, and then I wouldn't have had a healer. 
Although I do get one relatively soon. I do know that much. Um, so yes, uh, we're just going to continue getting rid of items. Uh, just had Ross and Hayden get rid of them. Then Dwessel's going to trade them over. And um, yeah, so we end up just just going full move with everyone who can survive and everyone who can't survive. Well, place your bets <laughs> on whether those who can't survive will survive. <laughs> um, we're just going to keep moving and hopefully finish the chapter without too many more casualties. Or fatalities, rather. Um, so Mulder is in position where he'll be attacked by one of the enemies next turn, but um, loot will not be able to move in and capture, so there isn't much that can be done on that front because I didn't... Like, if I had left her right there and then not put um, Dwessel in the way, then she could have been where Dwessel is now with Smite. And uh, then if Hector used Smite again, the next turn she would be able to capture. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna deposit some items and uh, hope for the best. That's really all there is to uh, this this part. It's uh, it's good stuff. So Mulder is just gonna kill the enemy Ross. I didn't notice that until now, but that's that's a Ross. That's a Demon King right there. We're gonna see what happens to Ross real soon. If he dies here, does that mean the Demon King is dead? I mean, he was Demon King for a day. He did. Uh, he did get that trophy. So. <laughs> Will he die? 86%? Okay. He's dead. The Demon King was a warrior to the very end. Um... But will he return? <laughs> he'll... He'll see eventually. There's... There's going to be more... There's going to be more Ross info coming up soon. Um... So... This turn... Yeah, could have been a seizing turn, but not quite. However, that arrangement of enemies there is actually pretty fortunate, and I think it might be possible for me to get attacked depending on the move order, but I, I don't think so. Um, so we're just gonna we're just gonna kill Basma, good old Basma, the mightiest. Um, no match for Mulder though. And uh, we're just gonna hope for the best. Uh, but uh, you can probably tell that this match is already over. There's uh, nothing else to go wrong really. Um, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about the live stream, um, which is is going to happen relatively soon. I mean, I'm recording this on, like, morning of Friday. It might even happen this weekend, I don't know. Um, I don't really have anything against doing it on this Friday, but I don't really know how my schedule is going to look. I mean, not <laughs> not this Friday, but this weekend. Um, no, this Friday would be crazy. Um, So, we're just going to yeah, throw away the items. Any items we can are going to be deposited. Just because, you know, just wanted to uh, make sure nothing was lost. And that's really all there is to it. Um, I pretty much just wanted this to be separate because A, this part of the recording had audio issues, and so I, I wanted to split it up anyways. Um, and B, the, um, the previous recording was going to be too long if I did it on its own. And that's all.